look at it. Now they all look pretty good. It'd definitely be a little bit better. The only real way to do it now. with the heat gun. Alright, that should have got the rest of it off. I try not to keep that hot air gun on there too long because I don't want it bowing. Let it cool for a second. that black gotta get that off there the solder that was still on there was the low melt I mean that's why I was able to use the heat gun and get it off okay if they're, I mean, they're not going to be, all of them aren't going to be completely, completely perfect, but close enough is pretty close on this, because they will melt and they will merge with the solder. You just don't want one spot to get too hot, get higher than, too much more solder on it than the others.
So now we get the camera on the tripod. Grab our chip. Clean around the edges. There's no fuzzies. Grab your king bow, put a little on your finger, wipe it on the board. Paper towel, wipe your finger off. Get some of that excess off there. If you have too much flux on the first thing here, you uh, the chip will move on you because it'll be too much liquid under there. Put it on there after you get it lined up. Clean off your temperature probe. Go ahead and turn on your hot plate. Now we're heating up. Got a couple questions. Uh, people asking me to please explain how to use the Joby. <laughs> Guys, I can't do everything. I mean, I'm showing you as much as I can. I thought that's what I was doing, was showing you how to use this Jovi. So, for you, those people who keep asking me to show them how to use the Jovi, I'm sorry, but this is about as good as it's going to get. I mean, if you get one, you're going to have to figure out your own steps. From what I've been told, I mean, they're the same machine, but I guess machines act differently I don't know it's the same concept when you're trying to remove non-leaded solder you got to get it pretty hot at least uh, around 230 it melts at 217 but you want to go a little bit above it and then when you're putting a leaded solder on it melts at 183 so I usually go to about 200 you get this light you won't be able to see it on the film. 
but when it gets to that 183 mark, you can look under there. And when you see all the balls, you'll be able to see each ball probably, you know, change to that shiny color, meaning it's been mel it's melted. And when you see them all like that, then I would go about another 10 degrees or 5 degrees, depending on where it's at. I mean, so that's that's my tip. But yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm showing you guys all kinds of stuff um, more than anybody else is showing. There are a couple people on there that'll on YouTube that show you how to do it with instructions, but. And I'm hoping, since I'm doing this, people that don't plan on buying their own machine will actually send me their system instead of sending it somewhere else. Because I like the business. Show you, show you what I have to do to get it reballed and show you all what's in, entailed in the process and hope you're like what I show you and you send me your system which some of you have already and I appreciate it and I want to say thank you thank you very much I'll tell you the story while we're waiting on this to heat up I had a, he might even watch this but this is a Craigslist story and this goes to show don't buy anything on Craigslist unless you can test it out 